Let's look now at how we can use Excel to find the mean of a probability distribution. We have here an example using the binomial distribution where we've done five experiments. Each time the probability of a success was 0.4. And we worked out the probabilities of getting a certain number of successes out of five using the formula that comes with Excel. Now to get a mean of a probability distribution we have to add up all possible products of the value times its probability. So we need a column here XP. So we put that in with its formula so it's equals X is A2 times P which is 0 0.0776 which of course comes to naught in this case. But now to do it for the others we can just click and drag bottom right corner left click hold down and drag and we get those numbers which don't mean a lot but we have to add them all up. The definition of a probability distribution mean is the sum of every possible x times its probability. If I add these up by going to home and sigma out pops the number 2 which of course is what I expected because the formula for a binomial mean is the number of experiments 5 times the probability of a success each time 0 0.4 which of course does come to 2. So this verifies the formula for the mean. Okay Marie, so let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well I want x on its own, so I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself, but what we want to do first is get all of these x's together, so can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So, 3x equals 12. Oh, and so, x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.